You know, there's a secret in your birthday to courage, and courage leads to love. Are you ready to find out the truth? I have the answer. You too can find the truth if you dare. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello Sagittarius and welcome now to Tuesday. Well sunny chit chatty but I think grounded overall today. The moon has moved into Aquarius so your emotions have now infiltrated your mind. So emotions and mind go back and forth today. This is a day where you can fall into a booby trap. You can fall into depression. Basically your emotions are leading your thoughts. So you want to pay attention to where your thoughts go. This is an excellent day though to get to the bottom of how you feel, to be able to communicate how you feel. Great day to communicate to a therapist or a practitioner or a psychic at SG Elite. Great day to journal or blog, put your thoughts out there. Great day to change your Twitter status. Today's a great day to just communicate your feelings, but try not to fall into your own uh, despair. All right, it's easily triggered. So a negative thought could trigger a negative emotion. A negative emotion could trigger a negative thought. You may say, is that true all the time? Yes, but right now for the next two days, highly potent. Now, zip into that sun. Today we're in chapter two of Sun in Pisces. The sun is the ruling planet, and that means it's time to hold space. This month, the Sagittarius are working on their self-nurturing, home, family, foundation. And yesterday I said, let's step away from anything not working in the home, family, foundation unit. So step away from that debilitating behavior. Step away from that asshole roommate. Step away from uh, the bad lease that you're in with your house. Whatever it is that is preventing you from being nurtured, step away. Today, you want to assess. Today is basically an assessment. Where are you so far? How grounded do you feel? How nurtured do you feel? Just take note. There's no spiritual action to take today except reflection. Reflect on where you are so far and determine if you're falling into the old space. If you feel tempted back in the old self-sabotaging, non-nurturing attitude, why? How did that happen? That's what we want to know because as of tomorrow, we experiment with what could work better for you. And two announcements today. One is Soul Nirvana. We've got new content live in our premium content channel on the mothership, Jupiter in 2011. I get deep in a seven to eight minute, minute video about what's going on with Jupiter in Aries and what's going on with Jupiter in Taurus. And this is going to heavily affect and change Sagittarius's lives this year. It's also the source of where your fortune lies, so you don't want to miss it. For more information, come to soulnirvana.com. And this Friday, I am proud to announce that I am the guest on Fate Magazine Radio. Fate Magazine has been around since the late 60s. This is a magazine that talks about alien phenomenon and ghosts and all things supernatural. They're expanding their supernatural to include astrology now. So honored, and they've chosen me. So don't miss it. You'll hear me kind of out of my horoscope. Element is a free radio show. It's on Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. And to hyperlink there, just go to soulgardenradio.com. All right, my archers, that's all I have for today. But tomorrow, your emotions really stir up. Until Wednesday, live, love, be. So.